Hey YouTube Lon, Chai Candy is here doing another action figure review and today is a figure from the new G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie Origins line. Now uh, this is the first figure I've picked up from this uh, movie. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up any of the other figures. I, I do like the character designs, it's just I already have uh, classified versions of these figures. And to be honest, I did watch the movie. I thought it was okay. It wasn't brilliant by any standards. It wasn't groundbreaking. And it wasn't, you know, it did have a feel of G.I. Joe to it. But it wasn't, to me, it didn't feel like a G.I. Joe movie. But then again, it was supposed to be an Origins. And I'm not going to get into the itty gritty of it. But I did enjoy it. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting for a G.I. Joe movie. But it I know some people are kind of going, oh, it's terrible, it's the worst thing going, they change character origin stories, and they should have been set in this setting, that setting. As it stands, it wasn't bad. Um, but enough of that. That's for possibly another day if I do start doing movie reviews. I might go into the in-depth reasons of why I like and dislike stuff in it. But what we're here for today is for this figure. And this figure is... Of course, the Baroness, or Anna de Cabre, if you're more familiar with the character. So, instead of having the standard uh, boxes that the classified, normal classified, come in. In this case, I'll just bring in Major Blood's one here. So, you can see the standard G.I. Joe one has blue accents. Uh, you can still see the Cobra logo and artwork. This one has black black to grey kind of uh, gradient going on so you have her kind of combat stats at the side there you have her Asher Kage symbol on the top instead of the Cobra logo uh, she's not really affiliated with the Asher Kage but it's just the because it's the Snake Eyes movie logo that's what they're using you got legally stuff on the bottom you have an image of the figure sorry an image of the character on the side and then on the back you just have the Snake Eyes movie poster. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same on all versions. It could be this, the European version has this. And the American version might have a picture of the character or a picture of the actual figure. But uh, this is the one based on the movie. So, in the movie, I'm probably going to butcher her name if I remember correctly. So, it's, I think it's Ulra Corsia. I think it's the actress's name. I know I probably butchered that name. I'll pro I'll put it into the description below of the uh, when I'm filling it out. But uh, this is based on the movie version, as opposed to the comic style or the you know any the other versions. Now this is the first uh, classified single card boxed or single carded figure. There has been another Baroness figure, which I will uh, kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison one to get through all the articulation and sculpting work and accessories. So let's crack cracking onto that. So for accessories, she comes with these two little knives. They're identical from what I can see, and they have very nicely detailed cobra or snake uh, emblems on the handles. They look like machetes almost like a um almost like a machete she has a working holster for them on the back so she has her kind of traditional style cross thing with the cobra logo on it um sculpting wise of the figure it doesn't look too bad you can see there they went for a lot of kind of uh serpent scale style patterns on the figure and on the character's design uh overall design she does have her kind of iconic glasses even though they look kind of different to the other release and she does come with i think one of the coolest accessories for one of these figures so far is this uh i think it's mp5 submachine gun which has a silencer on it which is actually removable and she also has a magazine clip which is also removable now actually i think the magazine clip the other wrong way around so just be wary the magazine clip can be loose as with the um the actual silencer like they don't fall off but if you knock it around a bit they will pop out so just be wary with that but it is nicely sculpted and i do like the fact that you can have it without it now unfortunately the downside is she doesn't have any holster for it i know some of the other 
Uh, classified figures have holsters for nearly all their accessories. In the case of Baroness, she only has the option to really hold it. Uh, there's no storage. But for the swords, the sheaths are on the back. They don't go all the way in. And I'm assuming I'm putting these in the right way around. But you can see they just slide in. You could force them the whole way, but I think they're supposed to intend to stop this way. Uh, in you know just halfway down the back you can slightly see them poking out the sides from the front profile but other than that you don't really notice them too much her other accessory which is a tiny accessory is her glasses her glasses are an actual separate piece um, they come separate in the box there's two little indentations on the side of her head for them to for the frames to slide into so you can do that. I think mine is missing a little bit of extra paint on the side on the right glass. It's not as thick as the one on the left. So I might hit that with a little bit of black paint just to make it look a little bit more uniform. But other than that, it's quite a nicely done um, design. Now, getting up close for the figure. So articulation wise, her head is on a ball joint. She has the dual joint, so she also has a neck lower base neck and base of the head joint. You can see her head is on a hinge, so she can get quite a lot of down, which almost looks like she's broken her neck. Uh, she gets good, reasonable bit of back, but it's hindered by her hair sculpt, which isn't something, you know, that you wouldn't expect, because considering her hair is a long hair piece, it is it is a little bit soft and pliable, but it does hinder the head movement a small bit, not by much. Um, her arms can go out that much. They are on a butterfly joint, so you got that extra hinge just at the top. Ro they can rotate all the way around, assuming you get them out of the range of this upper piece. This upper piece doesn't move. She has single jointed elbows, but they do get a good over 90 degree bend. And she has the wrist swivel, and she has up and down on her right. Uh, actually she has up and down on both wrists unlike some of the figures they have up and down or horizontal and vertical hinges she has horizontal hinges on both hands instead of a horizontal and vertical so she does have that she has a double waist crunch um, it's a bit hard to see but she has an extra waist crunch just underneath the crotch area so she has the upper diaphragm which gives good range of movement has a little bit of tilt but she also has the tilt from the base one she can rotate at the waist she can rotate up at the top uh, she can do splits that much she can actually do the van damme split she can kick forward quite well kick back pretty well her butt sculpt doesn't get in the way too much she does have the thigh swivel she doesn't she does have that drop down thing as well with her legs like the other figures she has the dual jointed knees so she gets a good over 90 degree bend of the leg it's almost a 180 and she gets ankle tilt she is sculpted that she's wearing heels from the looks of it but you don't um you don't see the actual gap between the heel and the shoe and then she also has a boot cut swivel as well so she has quite a lot of swivels and hinges she has peg holes on the bottom of her feet. Her feet have a quite a small profile, but it doesn't seem to stop her from standing too badly. You just have to get that right perfect uh, switch, or perfect um, spot. And she stands quite nicely. Now I am going to bring in this one. This is the Cobra Coil Baroness that came from the Target exclusive. It was Cobra Island Target exclusive. I got this second hand from eBay, so I paid a bit of a premium price for it. Um, the current one, from what I've seen someone posting online as of today, as of this recording, said their dropped price to $4.99 on Amazon. I don't know how true that is. Hopefully at the time of this recording, they'll still be that price. But the standard price is the $20. Um, I got mine over here in Ireland for 25 euro, so not much of a markup, um, which is, includes, you know, the exchange rate and stuff like that, so it's not too bad. This one, however, and I'll do a quick review of her because I haven't done a review for this figure, uh, cost me a small pretty penny, and uh, it's 
supply and demand, I suppose. I got her without her bike. She does come with the she did come with the helmet. She has a removable head, so she's supposed to have a crash helmet when she's on the bike. And she also has like a big weird coiled snake weapon that I don't have handy. But I'm just gonna go through the figure itself. So this is kind of like everyone's iconic style idea of what the Baroness looks like. So she has um body armor or carpace armor type thing going on. She has shin or elbow guards. It says these leg armor guards that go pretty much up to her thigh. Um, she genuinely doesn't have high heels. She actually has flat boots. Uh, most of the characters either have, will have a, a, a small boot or they'll have like a, a heel. Not all the Baroness characters have heels. Now, I will say on my figure that I got because it was second hand, the previous owner glued this knife into the sheath. I don't know why. I tried my best to see if I could free it up and get the knife back out. It's possible that it kept falling out and it was loose. So they glued it in place, which is a shame. So I can't take that out. She does come with two gold pistols, which are quite nicely done. And if I just bring them close, they're the both pistols are exactly the same, but she can hold them quite nicely in both hands. I just get them into her hand. She can dual wield her pistol. Or pistols. So she can go gangsta on you with her sides pistols or just have them shooting, which is quite cool. Uh, one of the cool things about her armor piece is it actually moves with her shoulder. It is a separate piece. So it is actually separate to the shoulder, if I can just show it off there. But it it's designed in such a way so that when you do put the arm up and stuff like that, it doesn't really hinder it too much. You can get move it out of the way to get the arm up even further, if you wish. So you can get the arm up really high and move that shoulder part out of the way. Uh, it's kind of designed to move with it. If she still has the butterfly joints. She has a single joint to elbows, but not a 90 degree bend. It's a little less than 90 degree bend on the bike Baroness. Um, I'm just going to take the pistols and put them back in the holsters. You can see she has a very similar holster design to the movie version. It has the cross pattern belt with the Cobra logo on the center. So you can see there's some carryovers for design. Uh, even the leggings kind of look similar to the way the ribbing is on the boots. It just doesn't have the armor look to it. Uh, she can kick forward quite well. She can kick back reasonably well. Again, dual jointed knees. She doesn't get quite the full 180 that um, Movie Baroness does. She does have a more flatter foot profile. So you have that. You don't have the boot swivel. You do have the thigh swivel. She can do the splits that much. Unfortunately, this knife holds her gets in the way. You can move it out of the way to give it a bit more range of movement. She does have that drop down as well. She does have waist, dual waist swivel. So she has one just at the base of where her armor, breast armor connects to their body. And she has one at the base of the arm, her waist as well. And she does have the hinge wrists. So she has swivel the uh, vertical hinges on both just like the movie counterpart and she does have that same dual jointed neck thing going on as well her hair is quite long much longer than the movie one so she can look down quite well and she can look up not too great because her hair gets in the way but she gets a good range of movement just getting the head to move is a bit of a pain because of the hair but you have that and she has the dual jointed neck. So she's pretty much a really good representation if you can get one. Hopefully Hasbro will release her um, on her own. They've done so with the Cobra Trooper so far. Um, she, they have released uh, the Cobra Trooper on its own. Uh, Viper hasn't been released yet on his own. Hopefully that will also be rectified. I know they've done like a second run of some figures. So I think the Cobra Coil one might have come back into stock in some places. And it might be a bit easier to find. But overall, I really like these figures. And just for a couple of size comparisons. Because this is the 6 inch sign. Here is the 6 inch John Ray Arnold from Jurassic Park. So it's the Samuel Jackson figure. Here is the 
six inch line predator jungle predator from Lenard Lenard toys so it's stands taller than them but it would be in scale to a six inch line or one to twelve scale line and if i have something else good old basic well not really basic star wars but here she is next to or here they are just move him out of the way and put him up behind here they are with old ben kenobi from the kenner inspired uh, hasbro line you can see uh obi-wan is a little bit smaller than him um in fact this is me one of the clone troopers i think he's actually smaller than the clone as well so you have a slight uh, I'll just chalk it up to the high heels that they have a little bit of height on the clone troopers but overall really good figure so I do recommend picking this one up I know the movie mightn't be everyone's cup of tea but as the figures go she's not a bad representation of Baroness until we can get another version of the more kind of iconic look she does fill in uh, that spot quite well even if you wanted something to customize as well she might be a good base for customizing figures so uh, there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video review, and as I say in my videos, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Cheers guys!